Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing the daily, finally, again. <laughs> this is going to be the daily for Jul August, not July, August 2nd, 2022. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see here what messages do we have. I have the Ancestor Oracle deck mixed in with the Moonology deck. I like that. I like it like that. So, um, yeah, let's do this. All right, let's see what we have here. What messages do we have for the Aries Collective? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Um, <clears throat> cross Watchers are welcome. Love this. All right. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I love this card. The Heart Guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. Okay. So the first card that came out. Oh my goodness, it wouldn't be Pugsley without interrupting my readings. The first message that came out is, what do you need to release? And it did come in reverse. Don't mind my nails. It broke. Um, what do you need to release? The waning moon. Okay. We have... Direction Guardian, choose your path. Spring, see your seeds grow. And the energy is gaining momentum. Mm -hmm. So Aries, it, this truly feels like blockages being removed out of your life. Okay, with the what do you need to release card, it came in reverse. And so I do feel like a bit of a struggle here around needing to release certain aspects of your life, people, places, things, things of that nature. Um, and it is tough sometimes letting go of patterns, things that you're comfortable with um, and things that you're just used to and that you've been identifying with. But it shows that here, once you get over this hurdle of releasing a situation, oh, hold on. releasing this situation, right? Your path becomes clear. The direction that you're supposed to be going in, it becomes clear, okay? Um, and you're able to choose that direction. You're able to choose that path, okay? And then it's a progression. You see, see your seeds grow, okay? Once you go down the path that you're supposed to be on, you start cultivating, you start planting seeds, you start um, nurturing them, and you start to see them grow. And then after that, you see the energy gain momentum, okay? Then that's when you see your manifestations come in, and that's when you see change. That's when you see real change in your life. But it all starts with release. What do you need to release, okay? Things that you need to release, um, Things, these things sometimes could be blockages in our lives, okay? Oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> Let me pull um, one from the lovers. This is not the lovers. I don't even know what these are called. I haven't seen the box in so long. I'm not sure what these are called anymore. I think they're Soul Guidance Oracle Deck. Um, missing with, mixed in with the soul journeys or soul lessons. I don't know. Something about lessons and something about guidance. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's peek what the energy is here. Mm, there it is. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. So that may be what is you guys need to release. That's something that Aries Collective needs to release. It came in reverse. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love, which then will bring you back into balance, okay? I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Beautiful, okay? And we have past. Ah, okay. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Forgiveness, balance, and past. Okay? All right. Let's see what's going on here, Aries. Oof. 
grip my nail today. Pugsley, please. <laughs> What's wrong with this dog? And I guess somebody in the comment section said, I know it's going to be good reading when Pugsley starts interrupting. So maybe that's a good thing. Let's see here. What's going on with Aries? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Oh, was there a release? Right? There's the tower. All right. Let's see here. What's going on? What is the situation here for Aries? Sun, Moon, Venus. The Moon and the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. The Moon, Cancerian Energy or Pisces Energy. What is the challenge here? Two of Pentacles. Okay. Remaining in balance, being unbalanced in a situation or in life in general. What's advice from spirit? Ooh, love this. Okay, we have the emperor, Aries energy. And what is the possible potential outcome in the near future for Aries? Love it. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. The sun at the bottom of the deck. For those of you who don't know tarot, the sun is the most positive card in the deck. New beginnings, happy, happiness, positivity, all right, growth, expansion, dreams coming true, all of those good feelings there with the sun, okay? I'm hearing being recognized for your good deeds, your accomplishments, joy, happiness. All of those things. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Let's clarify first. Dang, look at that. The tower again, even in this deck. Okay, yeah. So there's something here that was a struggle needing to be released. You know what I say all the time. With the tower, some people are afraid of the tower. It can be scary. <laughs> because when shit starts falling down, when shit starts flying, it is difficult. But the tower comes in when there is... Something that you know you need to release, but you have a difficult time doing it, okay? Um, let's see here. With the Queen of Wands and the Moon. The sun. The sun again. Beautiful. The sun is shining on you, Aries. Okay, for the challenge, the Two of Pentacles. I knew it. The Ten of Pentacles. Advice from Spirit. Page of Cups. And the outcome. The Five of Cups. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let's talk about it. Queen of Wands and the Moon energy here. Aries, this is you, male or female, all right? It seems like someone's creativity has been blocked because of situations that have been hidden or been buried beneath the surface, okay? Um, the moon sometimes talks about fears deep within your subconscious, things that don't want to be spoken about or seen, okay? So it seems like here someone is finally illuminating those fears, okay? going through a period of illumination and it comes out on the other side, it's brighter, it's happier, but it's it's scary, <laughs> it's scary, but you're illuminating that, right? And I feel like someone is flourishing once that happens, okay? With the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in the challenged position, someone here, because of this situation, has been kind of unbalanced. This could have been unbalanced in your finances, this could be unbalanced in your health, okay? Or just your overall well-being and able to make decisions soundly using your intuition, things of that nature. And with the Ten of Pentacles underneath it, it feels that a lot has been riding on this inconsistency in making decisions, okay? Um, right? And these decisions should come easily and naturally to you if you are in balance, Right, something here to do with finances for sure, instability, long term um, wealth, abundance. Here could even be relationships, could be relationships have been unbalanced. Maybe you're giving more than you're receiving, or vice versa. Okay, depends. Place yourself in that category 
With the Emperor here and the advice from Spirit, Aries, this feels like being kind to yourself, okay? Message of love. Okay, you could also be receiving these messages from others, but it just, it feels like, you know, you needing to tell yourself the things that you need to tell yourself to move forward in a situation or to be able to release fears around something. Some of you could be trying to, because um, what I'm getting strongly is some of you could be trying to make decisions around a business specifically, showing up with the Emperor and the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is creativity. Sorry, uh, forgot to put that down. Creativity, passion, okay, excitement as well. I love that. I love that energy, okay. But the outcome here, Aries, this is also, wait, before I move on here from the advice from Spirit. I feel like also this is about taking advice from others, okay, listening to um, advice that is given and also taking it, it makes you stronger. Okay. Um, not always being defensive or being in this, like, I have it all under control type of energy. I don't need anyone's advice because with the moon card, the moon really does emphasize struggles as well, as well, internal struggles. Okay. Let's clarify the five of cups here with the queen of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles here and the Five of Cups. Clarify one more time. And the Six of Cups. This could be regretful or remorseful about the past situations here, but it also talks about changing your perspective. And when you change your perspective on a situation, you pretty much, you flourish. From the Nine of Pentacles, you go to the Queen of Pentacles, you know, you get there. But the, the Nine of Pentacles is that energy of really taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. So it seems like here that someone here really had to do some inner work and change the, thing, change the perspective around the things that have happened to you and use those things as growth. Okay, and when you do that, and how I'm seeing this is because the Queen of Pentacles is very abundant. Okay, it's Earth energy. She's a nurturer. She has a lot to give because she she has a lot. Okay, all right. She takes care of herself very well, and in return, she's able to give to others. And that's what I see here with the Six of Cups. After changing your perspective about a situation that hurt you deeply, you start to turn around and pour into yourself. And when you start to pour into yourself you're able to give to others, okay? The Six of Cups could be a situation of people from the past, friends, things of that nature, but it's a very kind energy of nostalgia, okay? Remembering that time in your life where you were really well taken care of. I know not everybody has those experiences, but some of you may do, okay? And it's really about the love that you receive, being able to give it to others in need, okay? So, deep <laughs> deep seven of wands the death card and the will of fortune going through a, don't fight let me tell you this don't fight the transformation when you fight the transformation it could be really difficult and i see that with the what do you need to release card with that coming out in reverse forgiveness coming out in reverse balance coming out in reverse past going out coming out in reverse somebody still may be in that energy of not wanting to acknowledge what needs to be released Okay, in order to forgive, in order to come back into balance, right? It looks like a past situation. So that needs to be done. All right. In return, you're able to give. And that is probably one of the most precious gifts there is, is to be in an act of service. Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys off with a guardian angel card. So let's see here. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels. Mmm, love this. Manifestations. Manifestation. Beautiful. See, everything, when you release the blockages, when you clear blockages, that's when the manifesting starts coming in. That's why we have the sun card twice, okay? Like joy, happiness, receiving your blessings, everything that you deserve and what you've been waiting for. So we have believe in yourself, trust your instincts, and follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. 
The life you have for so long aspired to create will manifest soon. Beautiful. Love that. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.